everyone, Ashley here with a special kind of video actually. Now, this didn't really come to my mind until, well, after I did the painting reaction, Cole basically, well, after I explained a little bit about that little story I just said that really did happen, he basically gave the impression that, um, he would like to see what my old art was like. And, well, thankfully, I did, in fact, save five. I did pretty much do more, but they were pretty much left at the school, or pretty much they were actually just sold off. And, believe it or not, I actually did do quite an interesting uh, few, to be precise. But, um, for now... Let us pretty much take a look at these old paintings, shall we? Now, no, there aren't going to be any backgrounds. It's just going to be, well, just the characters that I made. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, first of the roster, we have Flara. Now, this is the old design I have of Flara before I gave him, well... A much more easier to see gem and limbs. Now, this kind of series that I basically did, it's more like the um, dream dimension creator that I actually do have. And he's actually one of the heads that actually, he's more of a sense of the flames of hope. Surprisingly, even if he doesn't look like much. But yeah. Flara, as you can tell, his um, body is like fire-based and such, making him a fire being. But yeah, you can pretty much tell that uh, this is painted. And pretty much, uh, I, I have to admit, for uh, something that I did while in counseling. Yes, I did do this in a counseling group. No, oh, wait. Dang it, it's been a while, guys, but uh, I did this solely, okay? I didn't do this with a group. It was my thing. I did this just because. But yeah, he has like a snake body and such. He still has like a serpent-like body, but uh, with the addition of the limbs. But yeah. I'm surprised I didn't do it, do too bad on the brush strokes. I mean, I guess because I was supposed to give off a flame look and not just the uh, appearance-wise. But yeah. And as you can tell, I basically put his name. Not really much of a date, actually. I like to say this was a, a few years ago I did. Um, around, I think it was either... 2012 or 2013, I'd say. So, um, yeah. Possibly even 2014. I don't know. It's been a while, people. I guess younger me didn't really do much about dates. <sighs> so, just bear with me on it. So, yeah. On to the next one. Next we have is Nightmare. And, boy, you people could say, How the hell did she come up with something like this? Well, I just did, okay, people? And if you're going to ask, I based them more off of that, uh, the, that five-headed dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! That's what I was basing it off of. I wasn't trying to steal it. But yeah, as you can see, it definitely has the gem on it. On his head. Also, his eyes, jeez, uh, they are meant to be green, people. I'm sorry, I just, I was not good with color scheming. You can tell he's got, like, he's got horns and spikes and such. He's basically a darkish gold and a lightened gold. And the only type of, he's got two tails, four arms, and the wings are meant to be bigger, but uh, for some reason I didn't choose to do that. 
So, like, uh, the big tail is meant to be for mere strength, and the other is meant for full-on striking. As for the clothing, it's basically just a black cape and two elemental wristbands. He's basically the main head that controls the other four. And, yeah. Pretty much, he is quite big. And, let's just say, I think I did well with this guy, despite the fact that I, um, I tried to make this look good. I am surprised that this came out quite okay. Also, if you can't tell, he's supposed to have, like, spikes on his chest part. But, yeah, it's Nightmare. That's his name. And... Why don't we move on to the next one, shall we? Now we have, well, I say the one who's actually gone through the most that's changed, Chaos. Yes, I didn't call him anything by a, well, that has an A in the name, because apparently that's the theme that I'm doing. I couldn't, I didn't really call him like a water themed and such, I just named him after the Sonic Adventure boss, for some reason. I guess because water base and such. But as you can see, he's supposed to be like a sea, uh, sea leviathan of some sort. But I gave the idea that he's a, uh, he has an Irish accent. Don't know why. And he's covered in, like, well, a slight fur and such that's able, that's pretty much waterproof. It's got, like, fins. I did make them lighter, and the gem, I actually changed that to being, like, a pearl-like. Like, a very whitish pearl. And also, he's supposed to be a more, he's now a more jolly one, rather than something terrifying. And, yeah, as you can tell, <laughs> the paint sort of just dripped down. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that. But, yeah, that's chaos, and he gets, here's a little trivia he actually made that's pretty much still a thing, is that he and Flara, they don't really, uh, agree on their, uh, methods and such. As it's fire and water, they basically don't go, they don't mix well. Normally people would say it's fire and ice that don't work out, but hey, water and fire, it's just about the same. But yeah. You best be getting off there, lads and laddies. Tis be a great time to be washing upon the seas. <laughs> That's the uh, best impression I could try. I, normally he would have had like a deeper voice, but uh, eh. Tis be the good time in there, lads. We best move on to the next one. We're nearly done. Yeah. Now we have the Ice Bearer. Frigetta. And he's like a wyvern type. And all I can say is that this was not really the best attempt I could do for him. I mean, I could have just shown off in Sharpie that he's supposed to have two giant w feathered wings and he's covered in feathers and such. Also, he can produce electricity. Yeah, ice and lightning well, ice and electricity are his main going abilities. Now, you're probably wondering, what category does he belong to? Well, believe it or not, he's supposed to be highly intelligent. As in, he's like the advisor and such. And, yeah, big case in point, a very cool collected guy, hence the reason with the ice element and such. But yeah, sorry if uh, he looks very much like a big blob. I really wasn't that a... Uh, I, I tried, people. I really did try. You can't blame me for pretty much trying. But, oof. but, uh, I think the tail and the head and portions turn out okay. Um, yeah, I think this turned out just fine. And I'm surprised the lettering here just stayed put for quite well. 
surprisingly. Also, if you can tell, aside, aside from Nightmare, who has green eyes, all four of them have, well, aside from, like, Flare, too, have yellow eyes. Why I do that, I don't know. I think it looks cool on them. But, yes, there is at least one more head that we need to see. So, let's get to that. Now, here is the last of the heads for Zadi. He's basically, well, a kind of wyvern. And if you can tell by the name, he is nature-based. Mainly of plants and such. Now, I actually based this one off of the Thunder Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, as you can tell, I was a Yu-Gi-Oh! fan back then. I still kind of am, it's just that I really like the uh, types of monsters that they use. Not human base. Sorry, people. But yeah, I have to admit, this looks a bit better than for, for Jetta, due to the fact that it's a little easier to tell. I am surprised I did very well with a serpent-like body. Also, uh, if you can't tell, he actually does, in fact, have sp uh, spikes sticking out of his head. And he has a white mouth and tongue. <laughs> I really, really, really don't know why I decided to give that. It's just, I just did. And he's also quite intelligent, but he mostly keeps balance. That's the way he is. You could say he's like a monk or something. Or could be considered a um, Eastern. But, yeah... I had to admit, I did pretty well with this guy. But, um, you guys can pretty much give your thoughts about uh, each head, about which one do you think was your favorite. And I might do another video where I actually show the more improved versions. And, uh, but we are not done yet, people. There is at least one more, and this one was actually last year that I did. And you'd be surprised, so, um, let us get to it, shall we? Okay, like I said, this one, I, like I said, this was last year that I did. Can you guess? It is none other than Ariella, in dragon form. Yeah, this was starting when I, actually, this was the start when I was actually doing more of better detail for him. And believe it or not, this is not actually paint, but it's actually colored pencils. Now people are saying, uh, not really a good thing. I know, people, I know. I tried. But I'm actually surprised that this turned out quite well. And, yep, there's a date. Because I did have common sense. I could say is that... Yeah, this did turn out quite well. And plus, you can actually tell which part is which because of some line art. Yeah, all pencil colors, people. All pencils. But, yeah, those were my uh, canvases that I had done from school. And, well... I suppose I will bring this up that, well, what I uh, mentioned before, but when I was in the school and such, and I was just pretty much needing, well, a little motivation or at least something to at least quell my nerves, because I was very much shy with a lot of people, and, well, the counselor basically allowed me to do a giant canvas that I was working on and it was an hour so I had a lot of free time and I did believe it or not I did the sinking of the Titanic and people honestly were very impressed with it and I even did a smaller scale but it was more with okay you know how this material is actually kind of rough and such well this kind of material I was using with the canvas it was very smooth very well I used markers 
but they didn't bleed into each other, so there's that. I also did like a watercolors one, and it was just that of mountains and eagles. That That's pretty much what I did. And yeah, the art I basically... And there are actually two more pieces of artwork that I did. One basically involving both Yoster and Deathwing taking on a giant monster while going to explore an ancient tomb. Yeah, it's like... It's like with Warcraft. <laughs> and the and the other was actually of the five heads, both actually having like marker on them. And then I did another with the seven homunculi in sonic formation. All also pretty much doing with markers. Yeah, those got sold off or left at the school. Because I'm just one of those people that I think they deserve a little piece of memory. But yeah, if you guys want to see more types of art I did, because I still do have some, feel free to leave a comment below if you'd like to see more. Because honestly, this wasn't so bad. And I'm surprised I didn't really make it all fully cringy. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you all later. Bye everybody.